Welcome to I Love Stocks. I want to do a little aftermarket report today, and we're going to get right off on talking about the SPY. SPY kind of hung flat today. I'm going to pull up the 20-day. We did kind of have a triple top up here at the end of the day, and that was right around this, oh, I'm going to say probably right around this area right in here, right around the 357 area. Kind of resistance level right in there, and we did close at 356.67. If we pull back, we need to hold this support right here at 354.62. If not, we can drop down to these lower tiers right in here with a solid buy at 351.25. But you got your support levels one, two, three, and then four, and then these other two are strong buys. So that's the spy. The next one we're going to talk about is Apple. Apple had a good little bitty recovery day today. So let's get on to Apple. Notice that yesterday, scalped Apple a few times yesterday. We had that huge pullback, and then today she just kept running up. Had a resistance level at 119.24. We did break it and hit a 119.53 resistance. And then here in the close, we did kind of break up and break out of that. But I have a... We got to break this resistance tomorrow. If it does pull back any at all, that 119.53, we did close at 119.49. I got one put. I hope that wasn't a big mistake. But chart's bullish right now on Apple. If we pull back any, I'll take my profit and get back in it again, maybe in a call. But that's Apple. Intel, I think we're still looking good on Intel. INTC called the very bottom on it. I'll show you here on the 20 day. We had a nice little five day run all the way to the top up here to my resistance level that I called in the room at 46.26. Now we're having a little hard time breaking it, but I think we can. We are going sideways for the past week, and I think we're up for the next leg to move up here soon, probably in the next week or two. But we got to break this resistance of 46.26 to bring it up to the level of around 48. But for right now, it's a nice little V-bottom call. We did hit my little resistance that I had, and we are consolidating in this first little support channel. And that's INTC. Next one, we're going to be looking at a Corona play, APT. Vegas called this in the room yesterday. Started turning around. Now we've got to break this resistance level right up in here. And I'm going to say it's right there at 12.99. If not... We can pull back on APT to this lower support of 1230 and then try to keep it in that channel. Right now, this is an inverse head to shoulders building. And if we go a little sideways, we can go ahead and break up, break past this $13 area and maybe get it up to right around resistance of 1368 to a hard resistance right at 1414. And that's APT, low support down here right around the 1230. If that don't hold... Then we got one more right down here. I'm going to say right there at 1181. So that's on my... And then we got Corona Play JMIA. Oil is going up because the vaccine. Let's keep that in mind while oil is going up. Now Jamie has pulled back. I had a low support on it at 1361. You can see we did break down below it and hit my strong buy at 1183. She is turning back around, kind of going back down a little bit. So we're going to put this next support right here at 1244. And that's where we're going to buy the entry at. And hopefully we can take this and start running it back up to this resistance channel of 1447 to 1465. Called this out yesterday in the room and they ran it up to 13. Took their profit. Now we've pulled back. I mean, yeah, they ran up to 13 and it went higher. I told them to get out at 13 if they got down in here at 1244. But that's Jamia, so we're down here again. We got the 20-day bottom at, right at 11.83. Resistance to break right at 13.61. The next one, Jamia, is Amazon, another Corona play. Easy to call. If you sit there and watch it for a while, called it out again yesterday. We had the pop today. Called it out last week, and we had that real nice run up here. I think what we got to do is break this resistance level that I have right in here that I called when I called this trade out. And that is going to be right at 3162.92. If we can break past that, we can get up to these higher levels. But we did have the nice little pullback 
called it out yesterday and we reversed back up today amazon next one facebook facebook i like as much as i like amazon when it comes to trading it I had another day where we had two hard sell-offs i keep telling people third day is recovery day boom big sell-off boom big sell-off to my support level that i had here at 266.57 it was the equilibrium of these two channels it's called a pivot point and it bounces on up now we got to break this resistance of 278.85 or she's going to pull back to this other first support right around a little under 270 and that's going to be facebook the next one is some few pot plays and we're going to talk about cgc we're still bullish on them had a nice little two-day pullback then she rounded up and she hit the resistance line here at 24.65. So maybe we can start creating a channel in here. Solid buy at 22.34. This first little channel in here for a second buy at 23.16 to 23.38 with a resistance to break of 24.65. CGC. One of Vegas's favorite ones here, APHA. Nice little stock. We had the bottom here at 431, 431 on the 20 day. We're kind of in here in between. I'm going to go ahead and clean this all up, start fresh. Getting a little foggy. We're going to look at the first, let's look at the uh, 200. I know I got it somewhere in here. Give me one second. <laughs> you don't want it when you need it. There we go. 15 to 200. I'm going to put this up on a daily and see what we got here. APHA. So, yeah, we're bounding up here up these resistance levels again. So our support probably was right back. Oh, man. I hate to say we got in this a little too late. Um, 488. And then we got another one right in here. So these are the two support levels that I want to take on this trade. If it pulls back to 488, that's where I want to get in it. And 516 is going to be that first support if I want to try to scalp it up into these new highs. Then I'm going to put a very low bottom bottom line support right down here, right around the four. There it is. We'll just put it right here, 453. So that's down from a buck. I mean, we can do that pretty easily. Low support, 453, 488, 516, and resistance to break is a 574, and we can try to get it up here right around the 627 area for a double top break. APHA. And then Cron, one of my favorite ones. It was my favorite one at one time. Just go ahead and clear this all up. I need to redo it in a way. I got two years of trend lines on there. So we've got a resistance level to break right in here, right at 709. Then we got a support level right here. Yeah, right, perfect. 663. I called this in the room at five bucks. So we got a low support scenario at 604. We got a pivot point here in this support channel at 633 with a 709 resistance that needs to hold. If we can hold that, we can get it back up here to the top, right around the 786, 791 area. Maybe run it up to about 848. She's kind of been down all year long, so this is one we got to kind of keep on watch right now. We're at the pivot point at 709 in this channel. Low support, 604. Resistance to break, 791 and 848. And then the last one we're going to talk about is Tillery. Tillery. I call her Hillary. T-L-R-Y. Last pot stock. We're down here at support level. I like this company a lot. I like it a lot. 
So we did pull back to my lowest support that I had already charted up right here at 790. In case this doesn't hold, you see it did pull back. We can chalk this 709 in for a solid buy. And that's on TLRY, solid buy at 709. I think um, if we can hold this 790, we can break up here to the higher level of 871 and then maybe 977. But we can kind of go in here somewhere in between and find a little equilibrium. And I'm thinking right about in here, 906 and 977. Get it up to the higher tiers. Eventually, we'll double top at 1118. And that's on Tilray. And that's it for the aftermarket report. Keep a good eye out on them. We do appreciate it. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Ring that bell. On our YouTube page, we have it right here. If you ever want to go back and scroll back in some videos that I've done. I also have a few charting lessons and stuff in here too. It's very helpful. So keep that in mind. And uh, I guess that's about it. So this is I Love Stocks. Also, I want to mention Twitter page. Hit that like button. We're getting subscribers every day. Posting alerts in here every day. Plus, we have our stock twits and our Pinterest. And if you ever wanted to buy any merchandise, always remember, I love stocks.